Hello, I'm Anne Theroux and I've written a book called The Year of the End. The year was 1990. Maybe some of you don't remember it. A lot happened. Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher was ousted. It's a funny old world, she said as she left. Communism collapsed in Eastern Europe. Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. I was making radio programmes for the wonderful BBC World Service. And for me, the year included interviews with writers like Kingsley Amis, Barbara Cartland and V.S. Naipaul. It was also the year when my marriage to writer Paul Theroux came to an end. We'd been together since we met in Africa in 1967. And we had two sons, Marcel and Louis, who were about to set out on their own careers. Paul and I agreed on a 12 month separation and I found myself on an emotional roller coaster. One minute sure we'd be reunited, the next plunged into doubt and despair. Occasionally, I was able to imagine a rewarding new life on my own. I kept a diary during 1990, and that's at the heart of my book. I used entries in the diary to trigger memories and tell my story, which was first written down more than 20 years ago when the feelings were still strong. I decided not to publish, tucked it away in a bottom drawer and got on with my new life. Now that time has passed, it seems safe and perhaps necessary to give my version of a marriage which has already been written about by others and will probably feature in biographies to come. The partners of writers and artists often get short shrift. Who wants to be remembered like the sad and neglected Catherine Dickens or the difficult Emma Hardy? I'd like some say in how I'm thought of in the future, if we have a future, so this is my story told in my own way. As well as working as a broadcaster, I've had another career as a relationship therapist. I've listened to people talk about rejection and heartbreak and tried to understand the painful mixture of feelings which well up when a relationship ends. I know there are many who will relate to my book in a personal way. And I'd like to say to anyone who's loved and lost, it's a hard journey to recovery, but there are surprising rewards on the way and maybe even happiness at the end.